STEM stories with Mr. Ewing. Um, we're going to talk about something today and give you a challenge um, centered around something that is super important to actually all of us, and that's called home. Now, what we call home is very different from a, what a lot of people in our own neighborhoods, uh, in our own city, in our own country, even around the world, everyone has a very definitely different definition of what home means. But home is definitely a place that keeps ourselves and our families safe. But what happens if you actually live in a area of the world that deals with tons of natural disasters? All of those threaten our home. And I wonder, what do we do with those areas and for those people and for those families, um, how do we help them design and build homes that are more sustainable to living in an environment that is conducive to natural disasters? Well, what if we could build and send them a home? It's a crazy idea, right? Well, maybe not so much. Actually, portable homes have been around for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. Um, we had people of our First Nations here in our own country actually had collapsible and movable homes. And, you know, the idea of mobile home, although this picture seems crazy, you know, this was an idea that has been around for a very long time because people are transient, but we also want to think about the economic ideas of this you know a home you know like this or a home like this is going to cost a substantial a st substantially substantially a lot less than an actual big home that we are used to seeing so the idea of mobile home being able to move a house is an idea that's been around for a very long time it's not a new idea but how do we take that idea and now actually make it new well in order to understand what we want to do for the future I think it's really always important to understand where we've been it's important to me that we always look at historical pieces and historical ideas in order for us to know where we've been where we're here today and where we're going to move things in the future now there was an amazing thinker um, back in the 1900s last century who uh, named Buckminster Fuller and he was a pretty amazing uh, innovative thinker and he actually had this idea of how to make really cool functioning manufactured home manufactured home just means it was pre-made or made in an off-site and re like shipped somewhere and reassembled so this is the idea that we're kind of building on is how do we manufacture something that is able to be shipped to another part of the world and then reconstructed to actually be be a sustain a substantial sustainable home um i love this in the 1930s uh the Dymaxion House was designed by Buckminster Fuller uh, and then redesigned in the 1940, uh, 1945. Um, and it was this really amazing, very futuristic for the time, pre-made manufactured home. Um, if you want to see one of these, if you ever get a chance to go to the Henry Ford Museum in Dearborn, Michigan, they actually have one of these homes inside the museum. Um, and it's cool you can actually go inside tour it and see all the things that they thought about that actually helped make this a very cool hub. So what if we could do this? What if we could manufacture a home that could be collapsed and then shipped? What if we took the idea of a collapsible box? We see these a lot in storage stores and even maybe in our own house. These actually come flat and then you pull them open and it makes a container. What if we took that idea? What if we took an idea of something around us and actually put that towards a house? Well, think about if we could make a structure that was collapsible, then it could be rebuilt um, after it was shipped somewhere and then stacked. What if 
we actually designed a house that was shipped flat and then could be popped open. I love this idea. Imagine how many of these houses you can actually get on a sh in a shipping container and ship overseas. This is actually an inflatable house that was designed um, and it actually was made of concrete, um, but it was an idea that came out of how do you produce affordable housing, mass produce affordable housing for people in need. Um, the geodome or the dome house, you know, all these panels, all these pieces shipped flat and then reassembled as a protective home. Love this idea. Now this is an inflatable garage, but I love this idea. What if you could create a house that was actually inflatable that could be shipped in a small box and then taken somewhere? Again, this is the idea of a house that is sent flat and then reassembled once it reaches its destination. And then we could take the idea of creating all those individual houses and actually creating a stacked structure. So. What would you design? What would you design as a house that is flat that can be shipped somewhere and actually recreated? You know, here's your challenge. What I want you to do is create a model of a house that can actually be shipped flat. And a very simple idea of this is we have our sheet of paper and we can actually create a box structure. Now, I don't have this tape shut. There we go. So we could actually build a model of a house that could then be collapsed and shipped very flat and then reassembled once it got there. Now, this is a very, very simplified idea, but it'll kind of give you the idea of what we're thinking about. And also, you know, Think about the available materials that we could very rapidly use and ship. So remember, always while you're working on this, think about the engineering design process. Ask yourself, what problem will we start trying to solve? Well, trying to find affordable housing, sustainable housing, manufactured housing that we can actually ship to an area of the country that deals with natural disasters and is in a struggling economy that would need the support and help of us. Then imagine is the brainstorming, come up with as many ideas as you can, start to plan it, design it, make it, and then create it. And then always, 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 before you feel like you're done, figure out a way to make sure that it is the best possible answer to the question that we've been asked. Always come up with ways to improve it. So that's your challenge. You are to create a house that can be pre-manufactured, collapsed, shipped, and reassembled in another part of the world. I'd love to see what you come up with. I'd love to see the models. If you can't actually build a model, you know, design it out. I want your brain to start thinking of the solutions that we can come up with. So if you are struggling building a model, do the drawings, come up with the ideas create it now if you're super so stoked to do this actually start to build that model out of materials and create a small version of to scale of an actual home that could be collapsed reassembled manufactured for uh, people families living in other parts of the world and if you want to push your thinking a little bit further how are you going to build that house that can withstand some of those natural disasters, flooding, hurricanes, um, earthquakes. Those are super important. So I'd love to see what you do. You know, Mr. Ewing loves pictures. So send, send, send pictures. And as always, have some fun.